Hello, everybody. I hope everyone is safe and well. Um, this video that you're about to watch is an informational video regarding this current outbreak. I uh, filmed it a couple days ago, so I'm just going to let it play. And then I just have a couple things to say after that. So please enjoy. Play. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is an important video because we are talking about the viral truth. Yes, that is upon on the current outbreak known as the COVID-19 coronavirus. So let's just answer a couple questions that have been frequently asked and let's just give you all the answers. So, first off. What is this disease? COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by the most re recently discovered coronavirus. And if you didn't know, coronavirus is a form of a virus. So when you get the flu, you're likely to have a coronavirus in your body. This new virus and disease was unknown before the outbreak began. It started in Wuhan, China in December of 2019 so it's been a couple of months and it's now just getting really serious so i thought i would let you know and explain more about it because it's now going all over all over sorry the states so how can this disease be spread people catch covid19 from other people who have covid19 it's spread from person to person so directly through small droplets from the nose or mouth which are spread when a person with COVID-19 coughs or exhales. These droplets then land on to objects and surfaces around the person. Other people can catch COVID-19 by touching those objects and surfaces that someone with COVID-19's droplets got on, and then touching their eyes, nose, or mouth, or face, or whatever. Also, you can get it if you breathe in droplets from a person with COVID-19 who coughs or inhales those droplets. This is why it is important to stay more than three feet away from a person who is sick. All right. Third question, what are these symptoms of this virus? Now, there are a lot of questions about this because I know there are allergies going around so then you worry oh my god if I have a runny nose am I, do I have the virus? No. The most common symptoms of COVID-19 are having a fever, tiredness, having a cold, or dry cough. Okay all right some people may have aches and pains, nasal congestions, runny nose, sore throat, or diarrhea but they're usually like mild and they begin gradually. So, you know, some people then become infected, but don't develop any symptoms and don't feel unwell. Most people, it's around 80% recover from the disease without needing special treatment. It'll take a couple days, but they then get over it. Around one out of every six people who get COVID-19 become seriously ill and develop difficulty breathing. Older people and those with un under underlying sorry medical problems like high blood pressure, heart problems, or diabetes are most likely to develop serious illnesses. People with fever, cough, and difficulty breathing need to see their physician or doctor or nurse or someone to make sure that you're safe and okay. All right. What can you do to prevent this disease? You can do the five, like a high five, but actually, nope, don't touch people. Um, first off, you can wash your hands often, whether it be after, before you eat something, after you use the bathroom, anything, really, you know, wash them very often. You can use your elbow, cough into your elbow, and don't cough the droplets onto surfaces. Cough into your elbow. It's better to have it in your elbow than on surfaces. Your face, like I said, don't touch your face because then, again, you touch the droplets and then you touch your face. So then you technically could get infected. 
uh, feet you need to stay more than three feet apart like the video said actually like I said previously one meter and if you feel sick please stay home don't go to school don't go to work because um then you'll get other people sick and that'll be a big disaster and we don't want that next up who is at risk the most this one might be the most concerning question that I've received, the CDC has received, the World Health Organization has received, but so I'm just going to answer it. All right. While we are still learning about how COVID-19 affects people, older people, people with pre-existing medical conditions like high blood pressure, heart disease, lung disease, strokes, or diabetes even, those people appear to develop serious illnesses more often than others. So if you know someone that has those things, you might want to let them know to check a doctor, to make sure to, that they are safe and are healthy and good. All right. And there is no cure yet. I hate to break it to you, but there's not. Although most cases are mild, mild meaning that they're quarantined, which means that they're stuck in one place, and so then it's fine. So I know actor Tom Hanks got the uh, COVID-19, so he is now quarantined. All right, but they're usually mild, so they are working to figure out a cure. So then it'll be just like the flu. You'll get a yearly shot, and then you'll be all set. All right, and any unanswered questions? Can, uh, if you have any unanswered questions, you need to make sure to talk to an adult, whether it be your parent or your medical physician, or you may know it as your doctor. Or if you, uh, you can use some very important websites first. Let me pull this up. You can use the uh, CDC website, that is the Center for Disease Control that will have reliable resources and information about it. Uh, there's good information there. The second great website is the World Health Organization. There's that link right there. That is also a very reliable source. Both of those sources will give you exactly what you need. The facts, not like the news. I would advise you stay away from the news or watch as little as possible. Because the news is just like, we need to panic or we're going to die. That's not true. You need to really think about the situation and learn all the facts before you have a mental breakdown. So make sure that you use those websites instead of CNN, News 12, Fox, or any other network that explains the news, whatever that is. And if you don't understand how to read it because it's too advanced words or whatever, if you're a kid or if you're a parent that wants to show your kids or if you're a teacher that wants want to show your students a simpler version of it, then go to this brain pop link. This brain pop link will bring you to... Uh, oops, sorry. This brain pop video will bring you to a timid movie, movie video about the coronavirus, and they talk about it and discuss that. So make sure I'm gonna say this again that you use the most reliable resources, which is the CDC website, the World Health Organization website, or Brain Pop. Before you watch the news, the news will make you panic and be in a worried state. Also, if you were a kid, you really shouldn't worry because this usually affects older people or infants or parents that have, uh, that are pregnant. So, but if you're a kid, you don't really need to obsess over it. I know. There's been a lot of obsession. I know some governors called the state emergency. I know our 
U.S. President Donald Trump called a national emergency, so that's why I know schools are closing. Closing. I don't want you to worry excessively, because in the end, this will blow over. The only things that you can really do to prevent this from happening is to wash your hands. Right here. Wash your hands. Cough into your elbow and not into surfaces. So don't touch your face at all. Stay more than three feet away from people when you go out. Say so you're going shopping or you're waiting in line for something. Three feet apart. And if you feel sick, don't go to school. Don't go to work. Don't go to anywhere if you're sick. Stay home so you don't get other people out in society affected. Okay, so then the rest of this video just goes on to explain, just, I just repeat it over and over again, just to make sure you contact your doctor, make sure you do these five uh, steps, and so I didn't need you to watch that full, complete video, but I did want to just talk about a couple things. I know there's been a lot of school closings. I believe, actually... Uh, yeah, 29 states closed their school for students, so I believe it's for about two weeks. So I just want you to know that during these two weeks, just to keep everyone occupied, I'll be posting some videos, whether it be gaming, music, anything, I will be posting to just make sure that you're still watching videos, you're still having fun. But I know two weeks is stressful and boring and long to all. And I know you want to go back to school, whether it be to learn, learn math, science, anything. Um, but whatever it is, I will be uploading, try every day, and then it'll all be good. Because I just want to make sure that you all are entertained and have fun while you are on this two-week break. So. That is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And again, contact your medical doctor or actually, wait, I think this goes into, yeah, the same thing. So I was just make sure it goes into the same thing. Also, if you need to, I don't know if I said it in here, there's an email link below. If you have a serious medical conditional question, your doctor won't answer, your doctor's on the leave, or whatever it may be, leave it in the comments, uh, not comments, send me an email, and I will respond to it. So I hope you enjoyed that informative video. Again, listen to the true facts and not the news, because the news will, again, just tell you to panic when you don't need to. So listen to the facts. Again, I'll post hopefully a couple of videos every day, not just one, but it may be one. I don't know what my schedule is. Um, and just make sure, again, if you really have a concern, email me in the, using the email address below. Um, stay safe, be healthy, have fun, wash your hands, just do the right thing, is really all I can say, but make sure you really do wash your hands and you follow that five, those five steps, your hand, your face, stay away from people and stay home if you are sick. Um, that's all I have to say. Again, thank you so much for watching. And, uh, this is mcool123, signing off. Peace.